Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. In this video, we're going to show you the different types of chassis. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. Do us a favor if you find this video useful. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. This video is going to be focused on the uh, different types of chassis. Uh, and honestly, for the most part, uh, storage is the heart of the different types of chassis here. Uh, with, like, say, the 620, uh, while they did have, yes, three different storage options, just like the 720, um, they had some differences on the PCIe slots. Uh, there's no differences, really, with the guts of the 720s. Um, so, really, it's... It, it breaks down to storage. So uh, on the front, you will notice over here, we have an eight bay small form factor. Then we have a 16 bay small form factor, and then we have an eight bay large form factor. If you want to go up to uh, a higher storage capacity, uh, the R720 has, I'll call it its older brother, the R720 XD, which was actually the next series that we will be doing after this. And the XD, you can get uh, on the large form factor 12 hard drives and uh, 24 on the small form factor and that one has a built-in rear kit back here uh, which does remove one of the PCIe slots that you have on the 720 but there's a built-in rear kit in the back to put in too. With the 720 you don't get the rear kit um, and you're going to get 816 or uh, 8 on the large form factor. Those are your options as a whole. But I do want to still use this as an uh, opportunity to highlight uh, the server as a whole and kind of do a general overview of the different parts. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open it up and we'll show you uh, the guts of the inside side and just kind of uh, highlight some of the features. All right, so let's go ahead and open the 720 up just to make sure your latch set to unlock. Pop the latch and open it up. So we will just start front uh, and kind of just work our way down. So uh, up here you will see this is the back plane. So this board right here is where the drives connect to when you plug them into each of the bays. All right, moving forward, you're going to have your uh, fan bank right here, uh, which is just good for airflow. I'll even see it, it points this direction. You can remove each individual fan if one breaks. Uh, you have the air baffle, which we're going to go ahead and pop uh, pop open. And under the air baffle, you're going to see the two CPUs, the 24 DIMM slots. Uh, as you come further back, you're going to see our RAID card. Uh, you're going to see riser 1, riser 2, riser 3, which gets you seven PCIe cards. You have your uh, daughter card over here. Uh, you have your two redundant power supplies under here. You know, there's a, a, a ton going on. You have an intrusion sensor. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different uh, uh, moving parts going on in here. Um, but as a whole, uh, we kind of try to break down each individual thing in the... Uh, in the series so hopefully we uh, we cover uh, whatever questions that you have but if you don't hey drop a comment down below let us know what you're looking for and we'll, we'll see if we can uh, can help out and answer so uh, well yeah that's the uh, the heart of the uh, the differences so uh, what I wanted to do now is actually st uh, stack the three on top of each other so you can see the uh, the fronts and the backs uh, the backs are gonna all look the same since we we, we told you it's the hearts are all the same uh, or the guts are really all the same it's just the front on the storage is gonna be different but we'll go ahead and show you nonetheless all right, so we've stacked them on top of each other so you can see the uh, all the fronts and the differences. So uh, you'll see this is our 8-bay and 16-bay small form factor and our 8-bay large form factor. All three of them have an option for an optical drive um, or a DVD drive. All of them um, have on the front, there. this is a screen where you can actually uh, read what errors are going on. It'll diagnose things. Uh, your USB ports, SD card right here, uh, the same um, right here, USB, SD, uh, you have your VGA, um, and then again, uh, all of your hard drives uh, based off of which one you want. But as a whole, um, they're really the only difference that you're going to see is on the storage side. So now we'll go ahead and we'll show you the back. All right, so we flipped them around. Here are the backs for you. Um, you can see on the top and the bottom, since we haven't been building them out, uh, they don't have the daughter card in them. That's uh, an upgrade, so you're building it out that you would add in. Um, here you can see the one that we've been building out has the H810 and the uh, the daughter card and uh, the other uh, network card that we put in over here. And so um, as you can see as a whole, again, we talk about the seven PCIe slots, uh, four high-profile, 
three low profile. It's the same setup on all of them. Uh, I mean, it's literally the exact same on the back. You can see everything uh, is literally in the exact same places. So, but still wanted to show it to you nonetheless, so that you can see side by side comparison of all three different chassis. Uh, and really, again, it just comes down to the front, the storage. That's that's the heart of the difference right there. Well, thanks for stopping by. Hope you found something useful in this video. Do us a favor, click that like smash that subscribe and if you're looking for any custom built uh, R720s or any other service for that matter do us a favor and email us at sales at cloudengine.com we custom build Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco and would love to earn your business thanks for stopping by take care guys